What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz, the piano tutorial man. Back again with another one, two, three. Almost think you should say mega classic on this one. So, all right, man, come on now. We have the originally done by Brenda Russell, but probably more famous by Miss uh, Olita Adams. We have Get Here. Uh, some people call it Get Here if you can, but I believe the official title is just simply Get Here. And um, like I said, the song was originally done in C major uh, by Brenda Brenda Russell, who recorded it and wrote the song, Words and Music. But we're going to look at it in B-flat because this is the key that Olita Adams did it in. So it's not a whole lot of stuff you have to remember, but um, there's, it's a couple of things I got to show you. So we're going to jump right on into this. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Gary Bailey. Thank you again for uh, sponsoring this tutorial, man. Appreciate you and all your support, man. Definitely. All right, so we got that nice little melodic, beautiful introduction. So what you want to do with your left hand is you have E flat and F. So you're going to hit that E flat separately. Da, da, da. You're building the chord. You're going to build the chord. So E flat, F, B flat, and F with your right hand. So there you go. You have. And that is an E flat sus2 chord. So you're going to do that two times. And the only note that changes is just this E flat. It drops down to D. Everything else is the same. That's B flat over D. And then after that, you want to do. Okay. So what you're doing with your uh, left hand, you want to do. You can do G and F with your um, left hand like that. G and F. And with your right hand. You want to play B flat and D to C and E flat, back to B flat and D, A and C, and then back to B flat and D. So it's, okay. All right, so, so far we have Okay, then after that, you kind of want to do like a C minor, C minor seven. You can do double C on the left hand. By the way, this is my middle C so that you know where I am on, the, on my piano. This right here, this is my middle C. So, so I'm doing double C with the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat with the right hand. And then I'm going to take my left hand and put it over F. That's just a C minor seven over F. All right. F on the left hand and then G, B flat, C and E flat on the right hand. And then you do the whole thing again. You do the exact same thing again. Just build the chord at that point. And then at this point, and then Then she comes in, you can reach me by, and then the song starts at that point. So now we're on the verse. So you're going to play the, you're basically, you're playing the exact same chords that were in the intro, except you're playing the full version of them. You're not breaking everything up, basically doing a um, arpeggio almost in a way. You can kind of look at it. You just, you want to play them straight up now. So now you're going to do a straight up E flat sus2, double E flat on the left hand. E flat, F, B flat. If you're wondering why it's called suspended two, it's because F, you're playing the F, and F is the second note in E flat. So you got E flat, that's the one, that's the two. So that's why they call it suspended two. You know, usually your E flat major will be when you play that third, but when you play the second, they call it a suspended second. All right, just a little theory, just in case you need to know that. All right, and then after that, you want to take your left hand, Drop both notes down to double D and take this E flat on your right hand and drop that down to D also. So basically every finger you have on E flat, drop it down to D. 
and that's B flat over D flat, okay? So D, F, B flat on the right hand, and as I said, double D on the left hand. Uh, and then what you want to do, your next chord uh, is going to be G minor 7. You can do G, F on the left hand, D, F, B flat on the right hand. Okay, and I know on the recording they do that little thing at the beginning. So if you want to add that, you can do that again if you want to do that. When you get to that chord, the G minus 7, they do that several times during the intro, like during the first verse and stuff. That's up to you, but you don't have to do it, you know. You can just land on the G minor, G minus 7. So that's up to you. You might want to do... Okay, so if you want to do that, even though I just screwed it up, you don't screw it up. Only I can screw it up. No. I, I guess I shouldn't screw it up. But anyway, okay, so the next chord after that will be C minor 11. Um, I, actually, C minor 11 will be down here. Let's, let's, let's stick to C minor 9 for while we're at the beginning part of the song because this is when it's kind of still real light, so you want to keep the chords light. So let's just do the C minor 9. Double C on the left hand. D, E flat, G, B flat on the right hand. Then take your left hand, bring it over to F. And that's just a C minor 9 over F the way I look at it, even though I'm not really playing a C. But you can do that if you want to. There you go, if you do that. Double F on the left hand, and if you want, you can take your thumb and play both C and D if you want to. If you want to do that, you can. And then do E flat, G and B flat okay C minus uh, 9 over F and then you want to do this is a D minus 7 over G I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this I'll do it this way I'll keep it simpler double G on the left hand then you have A C D F on the right hand. So that's D minor 7 over G. Then you want to come down to with your right hand. You want to take that right hand from the D minor 7 and you want to take it down to G minor 7. So that's going to be G, B flat, D, F. So if, in that case, I guess we could, well, you can kind of just do, do it that way. So now, um, so when you play that D minor 7 over G, I just, you know, just drop your hand down an octave and just do either double G. And if you only have a 61 key keyboard, then you can just do just a single G on your left hand if you don't have enough notes. But the, the best way to make it work is to do double G, drop down an octave, and then you're on your right hand, A, C, D, F. So that's your D minor 7 over G. Then you want to come down to that G minor 7, like I said. G, B flat, D, F. Then you want to return, and you want to do a different inversion of the D minor 7. Now you're going to do D minor 7 like this. And, you, and it's still going to be over G. It's still going to be D minor 7 over G. So you still want the double G on the left hand, but now you want to do C, D, F, A, and go. And then come up to G minor 7 that way. D, F, G, B flat. So those group of chords right there would be like that. So you're playing the same chords, but you're doing different inversions. That's kind of close to the recording. It might not be perfect, but it's real close to how they do it on the recording. All right. And then you play all those chords again. For the most part. So let's 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 go back and so we're on the verse now. You can reach me by down of you. Do the thing, same thing again. E flat sus two. She did it, did it, did it, B flat over D, and then G minus seven. I don't care how you get it, just get here if you. And then when you finish with the verse, 
uh, you're going to hit B flat major and go like that. So you're going to hit double B flat on the left hand, B flat D, F on the right hand. Or, well, do it. Yeah, you can do it that way. No, I'm going to tell you, play the B flat major chord like this. Double B flat left hand and on your right hand, F, B flat. And D, because once you hit the chord, you can go, and then it's much easier if you do it that way. And then C and E flat, B flat and D, C and E flat, and then B flat and D like that. So you'll go like that. Okay, so let me play the entire verse the way it's supposed to be played perfectly like the recording. So this is how you would do it. You can reach me, my and you. Shoot and beat it, then do it and do it. Shoot and beat it, and do it. Shoot it and do it. Shoot and beat it, and do it. Shoot and beat it. And then she does the verse again. Dun, 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 dun. And the band comes in. Well, more of the band. And then when you go into the bridge of the song, you want to go, there are hills and mountains between us. So you got two chords you want to throw in there. So when you hit the B flat the, the second time, she's, I guess you can say verse two, um, you want to throw these two chords in there when she goes, there are hills and mountains. When she's saying that, that's an A flat over C, double C on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Hills and then that's B flat over D, double D on the left hand, B flat, D, F on the right hand. There are hills and mountains. Now we're on the bridge. So now you want to do an E flat major nine, double E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. And then what you want to do is go to a this is just a F major over E flat. Very commonly used chord. I'm shocked that the um, program didn't just list it like this. This is using a lot of stuff. Uh, so you got double E flat on the left hand, A, C, F on the right hand. Then you wanna come down to D minus seven, <clears throat> double D on the left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand. And this, um, they basically just do a power chord, like a F5 chord or perfect fifth, an F perfect fifth. I just wrote F5 on the chord sheet. Uh, double F on the left hand, F, C, and F on the right hand. And then it goes to G minus seven. So you can, you know, double up your G on the left hand. G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. Take your left hand, drop it down to F. That's G minus seven over F. Uh, and then you're gonna drop your left hand down to E flat, which automatically puts you on E flat major nine again, okay? By just keeping the same G minus seven on your right hand, put it over E flat, you're on E flat major nine. Then you're gonna hit a F over G chord. Okay, double G on the left hand, and this is an inverted F chord. A, C, and F, that's an inverted F chord. So that's F over G, and then you're gonna come out of it with a C minor 11. Now I'm doing C minor 11 because we're in the song, so we don't have to be all pretty up here. I'm doing it down, I'm 
doing it down here now where it's a little bit dirtier you know what i'm saying so double c on the left hand i don't know what i'm talking about i need to go to sleep and on the right hand you have g b flat c e flat and f on the right hand and then all you gotta do is just take your left hand and move it over to f and that's a c minor 11 over f okay okay and then at that point they basically just play the verse again but it's like an instrumental it's like just the music playing but they're playing all the chords from the verse so all you gotta do is just play the verse but i right, let me play the bridge all together now so coming out of the verse i don't care how you get here just get here if you can then you got there are hills and mountains between us. And that's it, that's the bridge, and you go back. There's really no more chords to show you in a song. They do not switch it up anymore. This is just like a little piano part, little instrumental part. And what's the chord after that? Right. <laughs> And then go back to hills. There are hills and mountains between us. That's why I said that's really the end of the song. So you play the bridge again. go back to the verse again and then when you get to when you're at the end of the song when she's about to end the song she just stays on the first uh, one two three four five chords of the verse and she just does them over and over again they'll go this is the end of the song so you can play strong and go right back to it Goes right back to it, just like that. Right back to the E flat chord. She does that like three times. Was it four times? Now again, this is at the end of the song. Go right back to the E flat sus two. And when she's, I don't care how you get it. Just end it real slow. Same chords. Get it. You can. That's it. There's no other chords in the song. So all you got to do, if you know how the song flows, you'll know which set of chords to go to. So um, hopefully that one helped you out. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.